Let's get more now on the cold weather front moving in from the east. Britain's rail network has already been heavily affected with more disruption expected. Let's go live to Colchester Railway Station where we're joined by Sky's Olivia Kinsley. Uh, what impact is it having where you are, Olivia? Well, here in Colchester at the moment, there's not much uh, visual sign of the extreme weather to come, but you can certainly feel that it's on its way. It is bitterly cold here, a very, very cold uh, easterly wind, and certainly driving here, I was also driving through a number of snow showers. Now, uh, as I say, not much sign here yet of disruption, but the snow is expected to start settling here from about four o'clock, and it's when that snow settles that the disruption will begin. Here, as a precaution, they're going to be cancelling uh, all trains across the Greater Anglia network uh, from 10 o'clock p.m. That's to allow them to get trains back into position for tomorrow morning when they expect there to be a whole day of disruption and reduced uh, service. Um, C C C2C, another company, has also said it's going to have cancellations from 9 o'clock tonight. And uh, South Eastern has also told commuters to finish their journeys uh, by 6 o'clock tonight if they possibly can. Uh, of course, with snow, there is also always the uh, inevitable road disruption. Highways England has said it's going to have thousands of workers out across the roads tonight, gritting uh, and trying to make the roads safe across uh, ahead of this extreme uh, predicted uh, weather that's coming uh, all through uh, the UK for the rest of this week. Uh, now, this weather front is being called the beast from the east because it's coming uh, through from Russia and already across Europe we've seen uh, temperatures plummeting, snow coming to some quite unusual looking places uh, like Rome for example. Here as I say it will be coming across the UK uh, later uh, through the week and uh, the Met Office saying people can expect some of the coldest temperatures they've seen in years. Olivia, thanks very much.